So I wanted to do this quick video to show you um, using an aggregate um, device, all of your inputs and outputs, you can connect them to be one device. So right now it's showing you Universal Audio, Kronos USB, and the Yamaha MX as USB. And if you go over here to maybe like channel 17 and 18, that's the Kronos channels 19 and 20 and that's via usb that's the yamaha so if we look at my ableton setup and i made a template so i can load that up automatically um i have a soft synth so you can see that audio is coming from there uh, i have the chronos audio is coming from there and the mx um, I'm going to show you behind both boards because that's what's going to check me out. Okay. There is no audio cable plugged in here. There's no audio cable plugged in the back of the Kronos. I'm coming out USB from that one. USB from that one. Yo, here's a little heater because it's kind of chilly in the garage. Um, so, in my Ableton setup, you see it's coming in directly, channel 17 and 18, channels 19 and 20. And when I play on Yamaha, that's coming in directly. You hear it at the same time that you're hearing the note click. Let me turn up the overall sound uh, one second. That's a zero latency via USB. Zero latency. Zero latency. Um, let me show you what I'm doing. Since we're coming out of using this as the output, um, you see right here in the settings, I'm using the universal audio as the output. And under bu buffering, because this is just a playback rig, uh, I have this at 128, which is 2.9 milliseconds, 3.47 milliseconds output latency, which is literally inaudible. Um, if I set this higher, you'll see that those, that number jumps. And if I go up to say 512, if you have something really playing back, that 11 is, is somewhat noticeable. So you hear like a little flam from when I play the notes. So that's not the exact same time. So just for this playback rig, I can set it to 128 and real time, real time, real time. And then I just just adjust the faders here so that the levels for each of those items is comparable. Um, that was all I'm going to show you. So yeah, you can use the aggregated setup right down here and just create um, create aggregate device. So that's how we're able to do that. And you just check the different devices that you want to show up. The order that you check them in is going to be the order how they're arrayed here. So if I would have checked in the Kronos first, the first two channels would have been Kronos and vice versa. But because I picked the Universal Audio first, um, the direct lines from those are the first items that came in, um, which includes you know all the inputs that are in that particular interface. That was it. Hope that helped you out, guys. Bye-bye. Okay.